We are back on our quest for sourdough. And this time, I am in the United States, in the state of Maine. I am not going to meet a professional baker, but a writer. And a couple of months ago, she visited me in the sourdough library with her sourdough. And when she left, she had some plans with that sourdough. So I am here in the little town of Nobleboro, where I am going to meet her and listen to what she has to tell me. So happy to see you! <laughs> I'd like to write a book about sourdough because I was so addicted to sourdough when I, I've heard it the first time about it that I, I got the plan to, to write a book about it. But I, I did, I'm, I'm not a baker, Carl, you know, so I, I, I could not write a book about recipes. I wanted to meet people who are working with sourdough. Then I started traveling with my sourdough, um, meeting wonderful people in Europe, in, in, in United States, as you will see. That's it. That's beautiful stories about how sourdough can make you happy. It's a, it's a life changer. The first station we have been was the cloister in, in Kloster Wettenhausen in, in Bavaria. And the, the nuns gave me a bottle of, of holy water. And I thought maybe this could be the best, best idea to, to baptize him with the holy water. And then I best baptized him Vitus. Vitus. Yes. When, when you visited each each person, you had a chit chat with them, they baked something with Vitus mm -hmm. and, and, and what else? They baked with Vitus, uh, we, we did it together and uh, they told me their story, the story of, of their lives and sometimes the story of how the sourdough changed their lives and at the end w they, they give something to the Vitus um, that was very personal some some flower local flower something special like beer like holy water we had a lot of stuff which people put it and so we travel to the next station this is the last station in the book the the tenth person um, we are baking with and my friend John Wally lives here very near nearby you will you will meet him in a couple of minutes and he will not just bake a bread typical American he will do something very special. I would like to, to show you, not tell you. Upon arrival, John and his wife Ellen are waiting outside their house to welcome us with open arms. May I introduce Carl. you to Carl? Mm -hmm. Hi, John. Just Carl. Nice to meet you. I am here to bake, eager to meet Vitus again and see how he has changed since the last time I met him in the sourdough library. It has a nice flavor. We feel, we feel that it has some fermentation power. Mm -hmm. I think we, yeah, we can start. John is going to show me how he uses Vitus to make one of his favorite breads. He combines all the ingredients to make the dough. And after I show him how to prop a stretch and fold, the dough is ready for the next step. Homegrown blueberries and one of the best maple syrups I have ever tasted are going to give this bread an amazing signature flavor. Vitus can now do its job and unleash its fermentation power. When we come back the next day, the dough is ready to bake. John scores the bread his own way and a hot oven with lots of steam are going to create a very nice crust. After 45 minutes, the bread is ready. And look at this, John can be very proud of this loaf. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Time to taste. There's nothing better than fresh bread. Before we go, I have something, a little surprise I'd like to show you in my studio. Would you All like right. to come? Uh, yes. Okay. John is a painter who uses a very nice technique that makes his paintings look like pictures.
His workplace is amazing, stuffed with treasures that he finds on flea markets, and they are the stars in his paintings. I'm a free. Here's the surprise, Carl. Wow. This is done in egg temper, which is a very old painting technique. It hardens into a beautiful surface, and um, it's what they used before they invented oil paints. This is a composition we came up with that um, I thought really worked well. And um, this is the Vetus that Martina brought over. And this is the two loaves of sourdough bread and old Bible I had on an old barrel that dates way back here in Maine, but it reminded me of a barrel you might see in a mill. How come you decided to make this painting? Well, Martina brought Vetus to me and to kind of memorialize the final step in its journey, uh, she asked if I would do a painting to be hung in the um, library for sourdough in Belgium. And I'm so honored that it can actually go there. And um, it was a wonderful subject matter. And I'm, uh, I'm just delighted. I'm so happy. Well, uh, you, you can count on it that I will give it a, a very special spot in the sourdough library because it's just a fantastic painting. Well, that means a lot to me. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. I'm excited. And here we are in the library where everything comes together. The painting and of course the book, telling how Martina fell in love with sourdough and her trip to the different personalities. And last but not least, Vitus. This sourdough deserves undeniably a place in the World Heritage Sourdough Library of Puralos. Tell me now, be don't If it's so, then say this is the 